Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for February 11th. February 11th is the 42nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, with 323 days remaining to the end of the year, or 324 in leap years. Today's word is calendar. Calendar is a noun that means a system of defining the beginning, length, and division of the year. It usually consists of a tabular array of days, usually for one year. It can also mean a list or register of events, appointments, social events, court cases, etc. Calendar can also be used as a verb, meaning to enter onto a calendar. The word calendar comes to us from Middle English, Old French before that, ultimately from a Latin word that referred to the first day of the month in the Roman calendar, and the word itself evolved from a word that meant to call out, which referred to the calling of the new moon when it was first seen. Calendar. And with that, we're going to start with February 11th in the year 660 B.C., It's considered the traditional date for the foundation of Japan by Emperor Jimu. This is the birthday of Elizabeth of York, born February 11th, 1466. She's notable for having been the queen consort of England, the wife of Henry VII of England, mother of Arthur, Prince of Wales, Margaret, Queen of Scots, Henry VIII, King of England, Mary, Queen of France, and Edmund, Duke of Somerset. On February 11, 1534, Henry VIII of England was recognized as head of the Church of England. He set that all up. We've talked about that before. And on February 11, 1808, a man named Jesse Fell burned some anthracite on an open grate as an experiment in heating homes with coal. Anthracite is a metamorphosed type of coal that contains a high carbon content. It burns differently than wood does and hotter too, if I remember correctly. And this experiment of his appears to have been successful as coal has been used in homes as heating fuel for quite a while now. This is the birthday of Thomas Edison, born February 11th, 1847. He was, of course, an engineer, businessman, and inventor. Pretty busy guy, but the top three things that pop to my mind when I hear Edison are light bulb, phonograph, electricity. (laughs) Edison died in 1931 at the age of 84. Bernadette Soubirous' first vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary took place in Lourdes, France on February 11th, 1858. This is the birthday of a woman named Lucille Randon, R-A-N-D-O-N, Randon, born February 11th, 1904. Lucille is a French supercentenarian. We've talked about supercentenarians before. That's someone who has lived to or beyond the age of 110. She's 118 years old today. She's also the second oldest living person in the world behind a Japanese woman named Kane Tanaka. She worked for several years as a governess when she was a young woman, and one of of the children that she cared for as a toddler looked her up a few years ago. When he was 91, he used the Internet. It's amazing what you can find on that Internet. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. (laughs) I would like to take a moment to encourage you to like that share button. (laughs) Okay. All right. Watch your mouth. One of those pronunciations will be close to correct, I'm sure. <laughs> so many mistakes. Oh, come on now. <clears throat> Where were we? <laughs> All right, do that again. There goes the puppy. <laughs> You're just a good girl. Good girl. 
I don't know how all well that's going to go together. Or if it's even going to make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not going to go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. 